When you first install the Smart Online Order app, it's the best thing to do is to open the app itself, press settings, press print settings. Do this to the device where you want the online orders to print. What you want to check for is to make sure to find out which device is the default printer. If you see the word this device and it's this device you want it to print on, then you have the correct settings. And once you do that, walk over to the other Clover device and make sure that one also does not say this device. You want to choose this device, the one you want it to print to. And you'll see the serial number or the Clover device number here so you can choose that device. Once you do that, you want to make sure auto print customer receipt is checked, auto print order receipt is checked. You want to make sure these buttons are checked so that the online orders automatically print. Go through these settings and just kind of read through them because it's very customizable. If for example, if you have more than one kitchen printer, then you want to select kitchen labels printing. If you only have one kitchen printer, then just check auto print order receipt. Okay, so kind of go through here and just read them because it will explain to you what each setting does and configure it to your best needs. It's very customizable because the system doesn't know if you have five kitchen printers, if you have five Clover devices, or if you have one kitchen printer. So you have to let the system know where you want the orders to print. Once you have accomplished this, simply do an online order from your online order website and just watch it print out. So the way you can watch it print out, what will happen is that once you do an order, it will print out like this. Once you see it automatically print out, that means the online order is printing. If it does not print, what you want to do is you want to see if your internet connection is good. How do you do that? You go to the help app. At the top left, press the three lines, press diagnostics, press connection status. Once you press connection status, you should see a log of your connection history. If the connection history is good, that means your internet is good. If it's not, reboot your Clover. You swipe down here you'll see a circle icon. Press the circle icon and press reboot. It takes about 30 to 45 seconds to reboot the Clover station. The mini takes much longer, but the station takes about 30 seconds. After the reboot, try doing another online order and see if it prints out then. These are some of the troubleshooting steps you can take to have your online orders print automatically.